Hello, my name is Rachel and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little routine with the trigger point massage ball. I'm going to show you how to use it. All right, now if you haven't subscribed, please do press the subscribe button here. And also if you press on the bell, then you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. All right, so go ahead, get yourselves ready and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so we're going to do uh, a little bit of work with the trigger point massage ball today. And I'm showing you this because I've had a lot of requests on what to do with these and how to use them. Okay, so I will pop some links below uh, of what the balls are that I'm using and where you can buy those. All right, and I'm using a blue one, so this has got a little bit of give in it, but it is quite hard. You can also use a tennis ball if you want, that's a little bit softer, so if you want to do that, you can, all right? So this is going to be about releasing the hips and the lower back. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the back of your pelvis. Okay, so if you think about where uh, your back is, let me just turn my back to you for a second. So where you've got your pelvis, you'll feel around, you'll find like two little bones here, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pick whichever side you wanna start with, and you're just gonna go down from there and find that kind of fleshy part of the muscle. All right, because we're starting with the glutes. So you're gonna put the ball there. This is when you're gonna see a whole new me. I uh, wanna go back onto here because this stuff, you can really feel it. All right, so you're gonna take yourself back on your elbows, and you're going to sink your weights into the ball. Okay, now you might already be feeling this. All right, if you are, feel free to breathe through it. All right, and you're just letting that body weight go down onto the ball. And then what we're going to do is think of moving outwards. So we don't want to go onto any bones. We want to kind of move through the muscle, smooth out the muscle, smooth out any knots in the muscle. So you're just going to gently roll onto that ball. Oh, yes, I can feel that now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> onto the side and come back. So we're rolling out towards the side of the hip and coming back and you're propping yourself up on the elbows rolling out and back now if there's a particular point where it's very sore like mine is right here oh my goodness you're just gonna hold it there and just breathe through it and come back all right, and then what we'll do is we'll go and do the other side. So same idea, find the, the back of your pelvis, go down until you can feel the fleshy part of the muscle, place the ball there, and then you're gonna lie back on that ball, bending both legs down onto the elbows and just prop yourself up. Okay, and let's start by just sinking the weight down. Okay, that's it. So you're at the top of your glute at the moment. And you're just gonna sink it down here. Just breathing through it. Now we're going to take the hips out to the opposite side. So the ball is rolling outwards, going towards the outside of the hip. This is where you might find it's a little sore. Like for me, that's really, really, really sore. And I'm just going to dig deep. <sighs> Breathe through it. And I'm just going to hold it there. You can move back and forth if it's excruciating for you like this. And if you feel you can, you're just going to stay in the position where you feel the most resistance and just hold it there. Just allow that muscle to relax. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get the muscle to relax. And although this is horrible and it feels very painful, you will feel so much better in your back after. Okay? And then you're going to come back, lift on up. 
Okay, now we're going to move down a little lower. Okay, so you find that same point again. And we were just below it before. Now I want you to go much lower down. So you're going into sort of the, the biggest part of your gluteal muscle, gluteus maximus, okay? And then from there, you're just going to bend your knees again, come back and lie on that ball. Now for you, this might feel all right. You might feel tension. You're just going to gently go back and forth. Okay, so back and forth with that ball, that's it. If it's tight, so it feels uncomfortable, you feel yourself resisting, that's where you want to just kind of hold it and allow yourself to sink down onto that ball. Good. Now we're gonna roll out. So you're taking your hips to one side. The ball is going to the outside, okay? And if you can, try and turn onto it a little bit. Like now, now this is where it's starting to get a little bit painful. <laughs> going out, holding it here. And coming back. All right, gently coming down. Let's lift up, let's go on to the other side. So with all of these, I'm giving you a kind of fairly quick demonstration, but you can hold it for longer if you feel you need more. So you find that hip, uh, that bone at the back of the pelvis, you go right down onto the glute. So the center of the glute, and then you're gonna lean back, so you keep it in place, bend your knees and use your hands to help you. And then we're gonna start by going back and forth. So for me, this is really tight on this side. Okay, really tight. So back and forth, back and forth. All right, hold it there. And then you're gonna take it out to the side and back, out to the side, that's it, and that, you can hear the ball squeaking, out to the side, oh my goodness, that is, whew, interesting, and back, all right, come on up. Now we're gonna try and do the lower back muscle. So what we're aiming for is, this is where we often feel the pain, right here across the lower back. So what we're trying to do is release below, which we've done, and now we're gonna try and release just above. What you don't wanna do is go anywhere near your spine. So you wanna make sure that you stick on the muscle. Okay, so you're gonna find this muscle here. So there's the pelvis, here's my spine. I'm going across pretty much where the waistband is here. Okay, this is quadratus lumborum. And those who are interested in the names of the muscles. Okay, and I'm just going to roll back and forth here. All right, and you can just move around, like I say, just stay off your spine. As long as you're in the fleshy part of the muscle, that's absolutely fine. And you just go to where it feels good or where you feel you need it, more or less. Okay, so if it feels painful, you know you have hit a point where there is some tension, so that's where you need to kind of be rolling. All right, and if you can, you also take your hips side to side. Okay, and you do that as long as you need to. And then you're just gonna sink down into that muscle. So I'm actually able on this side to put my bottom down and just sink into that. It's not too bad for me there. All right, nice deep breaths. And then come on up, exactly the same thing on the other side. So let me show you again where we're going. So we've got our glute, our spine, and we're going above the pelvis and into the muscles. So somewhere around here, okay? And then you're gonna lie back. Okay, so we're above the pelvis. And then you're just gonna go back and forth. 
Okay, see where you feel the tension. If you feel the tension, that's where you need to hang out. And then you can go side to side. And again, if you feel tension there, you can hang out. If you're able to put your pelvis down, put your pelvis down. Just allow your body to sink in to it. That's it. You can actually do all these exercises against a wall as well. So standing against the wall, putting the ball in the same position, which is your other option. Okay, so we've done a little bit there on the back of the body. Now we're going to do the front. Okay, so we're going to try and get the hip flexors. So front of the hip, okay? So I'm going to, in fact, let me start on this side. Okay, so again, you see you've got your hip bone here. You're going to go inside of the hip bones, so let's say a couple of inches or four-ish centimeters, I think, something like that, and then down slightly here. That's where you want that ball. All right, then you're going to lie on it. Okay, so you hold it in position. You're going to lie yourself down. Ah, oh, yes, <laughs> that's the spot. Okay, and then you can either tuck your toes under if you prefer, and then you're just rolling around there. Okay, so again, it's a trigger point, so we're trying to really target. It feels quite sharp sometimes when you do this, but this is to release the hip flexor. So allowing yourself to sink down onto that, breathing through it. And now we're going to roll again out to the side. Ow. <laughs> that really hurts on me. So we're rolling out to the side and back. Out. Oh my goodness. And back. Out. And back. So I can feel now where I've got lots of tightness in my body. And back. And again, if you find a point where it really is quite uncomfortable, then you want to just move back and forth. We're trying to kind of almost stretch out the muscle, okay? So we're always going outwards, okay? Away from the center. Away from the center. That's it. Two and one. All right, we're going to let the knees come down. We're going to come on up. And let's do that torture on the other side now. So find that point again, hip bone. Come in, go down right in here, okay, and then coming forward, so you're lying on it first of all, get yourself in position, tuck your toes under, and then pull the tummy muscles in, and then you're just sinking, oh it's tight on this side as well, so just rolling gently, forward and back, just small movements, all right, I know you can't see very much, but I promise you, you will really feel this one. All right, so little movements back and forth. And then we're going out to the side and back. Out to the side and back. And what this is doing, this sort of sequence of moves, it's releasing all the muscles that tend to tighten up when you've got back pain. Okay, so releasing, releasing the back, We've released the front a little, or oh, quite a lot actually, here. Okay, and when you feel that's enough, when you're going to come down, we're going to come on up. And then we'll try this on the side. Okay, so we're going to try and go down the side of the hip here. So you can get into this any which way you want to but we're gonna go onto our side. So I recommend you bend your knees, lift up, make sure you're not on the hip bone, you want to be below, okay? And there's no elegant way to do this, but I tend to put my leg out and then you're just gonna roll, oh, roll up and down the leg. So we're going down the IT band. Oh my goodness. Yes, just to show you that it's not easy, even when you do this for a living. This 
is incredibly painful. Up and down, up and down. Good, so we're releasing again away from the hip bone, away from the lower back. Okay, three, two, one. We'll come off through to the other side. Better even ourselves up, haven't we? So same again, make sure you're not on the bone, below the hip bone. So we're going over. I'm going to put it just there. That's it. Extend that bottom leg if you can. You can bring the other leg over. And then first of all, sink down onto the ball. All right, and there's a lots of kind of, you've got to mobilize however you can here. And then just rolling that ball up and down, up and down. That's it. And again, this side feels fine for me. I can do this, no problem. It just goes to show where, you know, you start to learn where you've got the tightness in your body. Three, two, and one. Wonderful. And coming off. All right, so that's a short little sequence that you can do. So if you do feel a lot of back pain, if you know you have tightness all around that area, I would really recommend you get yourself one of these and try and do this at least once a week. All right, so thank you very, very much for watching. Do press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care and have a lovely day. If you'd like to support me and this channel, then you can buy me a virtual cup of coffee on Ko-fi. See all the details down below in the description box.